unto Jehovah, for he has done so very much for me. Holy Spirit, let that word that is going to be on release, my pastor Israel, let it enlighten the eyes of understanding. Let it reach out to many people beyond this border, beyond this place, Karamasu, that they'll be empowered by the word of God. That the will of God in their life will come to pass. Kalabasu, Urukoti Malaba Yeka Karamasu, Lumurukoti Baba, Lera Masu Kotolomori Baba Baba, Reka Taramaro Kotolomosu. Remember? Lot of different different things to be allowed. So you need to want to hear the teaching of God, the word of God. When you go home, you take your notes, you meditate once again on those words. The Spirit of God will even give you more powerful, powerful revelation, and you it, it will be in you, it will be in your heart, it will be in your mind. And at this, and that way you will grow bit by bit. Word. You will grow and you will grow and we will all grow together. Amen. For the glory of God. And this is what pleases the Father. This is what pleases the Father. He doesn't want just one person to know the word and, and, and perform those signs and wonders on his behalf. He wants all his children to receive the, the word, to be enlightened. Absolutely all his children to receive that. The elect. He wants the elect to understand his word. He wants the elect to have the eyes of their understanding open. So we are decreeing that all the elect are empowered. The trust within them, release that trust within them. Hallelujah. To want to know him and the power of his resurrection. To want to know him. Him is his word. It's him, him and his word. They are one. He is the word. To know him. To know what he has done. To know the eternal life that he has given us. To know that we live in eternity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mon âme soupira près toi et mon esprit en moi te cherche toi Je 
anger. Part two, we talk about grief. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Strength in every weakness. weaknesses or every of your weaknesses. Amen. Father, we worship you, we thank you. Yes. Come and speak to us. Amen. And come and speak back to us. Amen. But we say, give and shall be given back. Amen. Because whatever I give, I'm telling you, it's not the same measure that I give that I receive back. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why I want to bless. Amen. When God initiates a particular teaching, Amen. I want to give her my best to it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to be, I want to allow his best, Amen. praise the Lord, to flow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This part three, I'm telling you, <laughs> I have tried to wave it. But Sunday, when we finish the service and we go, Holy Spirit struck in my heart and he said, You have to say this thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. That I have to say it. And his wish is my command. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because my life is Christ Amen. in me. Amen. So my whole life, my whole life has been crucified. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have a decision of myself. And Jesus says, Jesus said, My food is to do the will of my father and to finish it. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So my own will also is to do the will of my father. Amen. Hallelujah. Before I uh, say the title of uh, the part three, mm -hmm. let me give the scripture. We've not been using the scripture since. Mm -hmm. And the scripture is the main scripture that explains the strength, strength of God uh -huh. in our weaknesses. Uh, that is Second Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Amen. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Let me read it in KJV. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, Amen. for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. Can we see now? For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. Most likely, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmity that the power of Christ may rest Amen. upon me. Amen. So that is where this title uh, was picked from. Strength in heavy weakness. Amen. My strength is made perfect mm -hmm. in weakness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because of time, I won't say much about grace because we really touched it last week so much. Amen. But if you check the verse, now you see, my grace is sufficient Amen. for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Amen. So my, my strength is, as in God's strength, is made perfect in our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, my grace is sufficient. Amen. So you have to understand the grace of God. Jesus is the grace of God. Amen. He's the grace and the truth. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
the part three the point three is sex <laughs> hallelujah I'm telling you, I tried not to say this thing. Hmm. I tried. Amen. But I'm telling you, if I didn't say it, then I don't want his strength to make manifest in my weakness. Because if, you are, if God says you should say something, I don't want to say it. It's a weakness. Mm -hmm. It means that I'm not doing what I'm preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, um, but I'm telling you, the teaching is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Sometimes you run away from something because we think it's difficult. But when God is beginning to unveil it, that's why you know that it's very, very simple. It's not what you've not heard before. It's just that to bring it together, to understand it better, is what uh, you may not be able to bring together in your heart. But despite that, I ask for utterance and the wisdom of God. Praise the Lord. Holy Spirit, I release myself to you. Speak to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the word sex is a word that we used to, dis uh, to differentiate a man from a woman. Praise the Lord. He said, what is your sex? I'm a male. What is your sex? I'm a female. But it's also um, because I search uh, dictionary, normally I don't use dictionary when I want to do the teaching, but I just want to search to see if there is a relationship between the way any dictionary of the world can explain sex, like how God inspired it to me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, but when I search, I didn't see anyone. I said, okay. Let me abide with what the Spirit of God gave me. The word sex to God is one. The definition of sex is what? One. one. The definition of sex is what? One. one. This is Dictionary <laughs> of the Holy Spirit Amen. is a definition from the Spirit of God, Amen. and it has uh, legs, so many legs in the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. So, sex according to God is one. You will not know this definition if you are not in line. Your mind is not in line with God. But it says the spirit in man, the inspiration of the Almighty. So it's the inspiration of the Almighty that will give you a proper and a rightful um, definition of a particular thing. Go and check your dictionary. You never find a definition that explains sex as one. You will never. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go and search French dictionary, German dictionary, whatever. Yoruba, Ufusa, whatever. America, whatever. Go and search. Google, if it is anything outside Google, say, go and search. You will never see that sex is one. Now, to our normal understanding, we have, uh, we, we, they talk about sex like, um, what a man and a woman does, praise the Lord, together. And outside the oneness of God in man, the two are uh, wrong attitude of sex is fornication and adultery, right? He said fornication is when you've not gotten married and you begin to sleep with so many people. But adultery is when you've married and as they are, you begin to sleep with another person's spouse, praise the Lord, that is adultery. Adultery is when you're already married. Fornication is when you are not. Hallelujah. And again, that's number one. Number two, there are so many other ones now <laughs> that is not even opposite sex. 
is within is male and male or female and female. Praise the Lord. And they now want to put this because they, they want they, be, they believe that marriage is only thing that God instituted. So they will now maybe go to the church, all those false churches and all those false uh, um, prophets or ministers. Ministers, they are not ministers of God. They are ministers of themselves. <laughs> and they will go and they will tell those people to join them together. Can you see? They want to be between I mean, male, two males or two females, and they want it to be situated in the marriage. Are you getting it? So these are gays or lesbians and so many names that they are giving it. Praise the Lord. Now, fornication is outside the marriage. Praise the Lord. Even adultery is still like uh, going outside the institution of God. Now, but gay or lesbian is now, it's not, they are now joining themselves together. They want to force it in marriage that God instituted. Can you see? They are trying to suit their own selfish uh, desire. Praise the Lord. I don't understand. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when anything that you are doing outside the will of God for your life is is um, you are you are sitting your self selfish your own thing that is iniquity. Praise the Lord. That is iniquity. And you can see in the Bible, the Bible says. Um, Lucifer was blameless. He was, blame, he was without sin. He was blameless. Until iniquity was found in him. And when iniquity was found in him, he was like, he was doing He wanted to take his throne above the throne of God. When he was blameless in his sight, in the sight of God, he never had that thought of, I mean, taking his throne above. He was blameless. Praise the Lord. But when Iniquity was found in him when he began to think of himself. Are you getting it? That is iniquity. When iniquity struck him, are you getting it? Now, thinking of himself, the thoughts of himself came in. So it is only iniquity that will make you to be thinking about yourself outside the will of God, outside what God instituted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, but if you want uh, to do according to the will of God, not according to your own will, praise the Lord, then that is what? That is the love of God. Praise the Lord. That is what? That is the love of God. Hallelujah. That is the life of God. You are living the life of God. You are living the life of God. That is selfless attitude. You are giving, you know that your life has been crucified with Christ. Your whole life has been crucified with Christ. So nevertheless, you live. What is living in you, the life in you is Christ in you. Praise the Lord. So you want to do according to the will of that God, which is Christ in you. Praise the Lord. So when you receive Jesus, there was an exchange. You gave your life and he collects your life and he gave you his life. Praise the Lord. So, and what he has given you it remains abide with you forever. <laughs> Once saved is forever. You are saved forever. Amen. Eternally. Amen. The only thing is that the word is still in you. Yeah. So, God has to take away that war so that the life that you receive will be able to form in you. Because it is what is formed in you. Eh? That will reflect what you be your attitude. Praise the Lord. It is what is inside that determines what it is outside. Praise the Lord. They said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. It is abundance of what is inside that you will speak. Praise the Lord. Right now, what I'm teaching is abundance of the description of God in my heart. He has inspired me, he taught me. I you know I have fellowship with him. So I'm able to do this teaching. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to uh, the beginning. Genesis 2, Genesis 1, 20, 1, 26, and 7. Uh -huh. Amen. Mm 
Genesis 1, 26 to 7 says, Essentially, 27 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Now, through that verse, you know that God is one. Hmm? Amen. And he created man. The word man is also one. Eh? Now, through one man, female and male were brought out. Are you getting it? Praise the Lord. Female and male was brought out through female and male was brought out through through man. Like I said, sex is one. So sex is man. That is the definition. That is the description of that definition. Sex is one and sex is man because male and female came from man. Are you getting it? Amen. Male and female came from man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now let's go to Genesis 2 24. Tell me from verse 23. He said, the man said, this is now bones, bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One flesh. Amen. Initially, God created them from man. Right now, he united them together, and they become one flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you getting it? Are you blessed? Amen. So, sex is what? One. Sex is one flesh. Sex is one spirit. Praise the Lord. One spirit as man, a female and a woman, and a, a male and a female came out from man. That is one spirit. Praise the Lord. Now, one flesh, are you getting it? <laughs> it's all because if you read from maybe verse uh, 22, you see that God brought out the woman from the man. Praise the Lord. So it's still like uh, God brought out female. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? Because the first man was, when God created, was male. Mm -hmm. And he now brought out the female. Praise the Lord. The woman from the man. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. But initially, in the spirit, he has already brought it. The two of them out. Are you getting it? What is trying to say that in the design, the, in the physical design, he has already brought brought the female out in the spirit realm. Praise the Lord. That was it's very easier for him to physically form the woman. Praise the Lord. Are, are you getting it? And we have other Bible verses that align with Genesis 22:24, like Matthew, Matthew 19:5. You can write it down. Matthew 19:5. Matthew 19.5 Matthew 19.5 Don't need to teach Go everywhere so that we don't Let me write, let me see this on the I give you the minute to And said, for this cause shall the man leave father and mother And shall cleave to his wife And the twan sh and, the, and the twan shall be one flesh Are you getting it? You see the same thing? If you read, write it down Mark 10.8 And Ephesians 5.31 Mark 10.8 is still aligned with the same uh, verses that we just read. Mark 10, 8 and Ephesians 5, 31. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let's go a little further. The Bible says, any man who sleeps with a prostitute, it means that somebody you don't marry to. Hmm? Prostitute when you see with a, somebody you don't marry to, either the person is doing it for uh, financial sake or whatever, as long as you see with another person, they are saying the um, total, they are saying the, they are still part of the examples of prostitutes, one way or the other, please the Lord. 
So that's Corinthians 6 16. Corinthians, first Corinthians, first Corinthians 6 16 says, Anyone who sleeps with a prostitute, that is someone you don't marry to, or someone else's spouse, is one body with him or her. Amen. Can you see that is that is outside the institution of sex? Are you getting it? So if sex is one, now if you are doing it outside the way God insisted, that is not that is division. Are you getting it? That is are you, are you written it down? Yes. First Corinthians 6 16. Let's read it. Let's read it. Because we have two points. That's what I'm trying to 6 16. First Corinthians 6 16. Hmm. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an hallot is one body? For two, saying he shall be one flesh. Can you see you still be one flesh with the person, but in the wrong way? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now it's like you are you are connecting soul, spirit, and mind. Praise the Lord. With from to another different kind of realm. Because what is happening, what is living in the life of that person is not of God. So you are like align yourself if you don't know what you're doing you align yourself in a wrong channel praise the lord wrong channel praise the lord that is outside sex praise the lord because sex according to god is they become one man praise the lord but outside one then you are becoming one man to a wrong channel so it's like you see the right channel you Decided in your way. Can you see that is still inequity as we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Though uh as a child of God, God is God will deal. That is those are the things that God will deal with. Praise the Lord. That is the kind of people that they will say they are having uh, spiritual attacks or they are having sexual attacks in the dream or whatever, all those kind of things. It's because one way or the other, that that person. The, the wrong channel is still praise the Lord is still because when when God saved you the world is still in you so those are the things God will deal with God will deal with God will, God will change the way you've been thinking praise the Lord he will come he want to turn he want to re, he want to renew you praise the Lord he want to renew you praise the Lord those are those kind of things will happen and so that you will you you know that you have to allow God to take control. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't forget the title. I didn't forget the title. Strength, God strength in every weakness, is right? Mm -hmm. So now at that time, what you need is the strength of God. We'll go, we'll get there very soon. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, let's Let's go a little further about the one that God is seated. He said, the sex between a man and a woman that God ordained is between a husband and a wife in marriage. In marriage, in quotes, praise the Lord. Now, and the purpose is uh, oneness, fellowship, being together in one law, one spirit, praise the Lord, in one soul, praise the Lord. And the purpose is that one will be able to, let's, let's go to Hebrews, let's first go to Hebrews 13.4, then we'll go to Ephesians 5.25. Hebrews 13 4. Hebrews 13 4. He said, Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefined. But woe among us and adulterers, God will judge. God will judge them because they are doing things outside the will of God. That is Hebrews 13 4. I'm waiting for you to open it. Hebrews 13, 4. Hebrews 13, 4. Then, let us open Ephesians. Have you, have you, have you read it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. It has to be pure. I get it. Because man and a woman, they are pure to God. God, anything they do is, is pure. Are you getting it? But when you do it, 
with a wrong person that is impure. Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. Now let's go to Ephesians 5.25. Ephesians 5.25. He said, Husband, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for him, for, for it. So now, can you see now? <laughs> we have uh, three, we have three or two points. One in sex is one in spirit, in soul, and in body, one in flesh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, outside that oneness called sex, praise the Lord, that is uh, the other one that is not from God. So that one is of one flesh again. That is a division. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, the other example we did was the one between a man and a woman. Praise the Lord. And the third one now is between Jesus and his wife, the church. Can you see? He said, uh, Ephesians 5, 25, Husband love your wife as Christ also loved the church and gave himself. Can you see? And Bible says a man will leave a father's mother and come and give himself to the wife. That's why Jesus also gave himself for the church because the church is a bride, is the wife of Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is oneness. Amen. When Jesus has not given his life for his wife, the church, the bride, praise the Lord, we know where we were. Amen. <laughs> it was it was in, in opposite direction. We were doing, we are uh, like uh, Romans 1, is it 18? He said, um, he gave them over to a deprived mind to do what is difficult for them. Mm. Are you guessing it? So, at that time, we're doing things that are difficult. We're struggling. We're struggling. Praise the Lord. But when God gave his life for us, mm -hmm. then we are united in spirit, in soul, and in body to him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, now let's uh, ex explain it further about this one with uh, Christ. Mm. Now, I will now go to you for that, but I'll let me read from like a verse 22 to 33. Verse 22 to 33. Say, wife, you see that how God uh, is said, He said, wife, submit yourself unto your husband mm -hmm. as unto the Lord. As unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Because there are some wives that are not submitting to your husband. Amen. And the reason is just like, is, uh, it's not as of, as of, as of to the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Because God expects a prostitute woman to submit to a prostitute man. <laughs> because those ones are not from the Lord. Hallelujah. That's why those kind of things does not last. Are you getting that? will always be a breakup. Praise the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Can you see how he's trying to break it down? Praise the Lord. Amen. He's trying to tell you that as sex, sex is. Uh, how what the man and the woman do together to become one? Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. But also, it's like when they are in themselves, that is oneness. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, the same thing that is what Jesus did to be able to take his wife, Christ, back to himself. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? Amen. So, Christ without the church, <laughs> what is the function? What is the purpose? The church without Christ. They can never be known as the church. Are you getting it? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, now, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and is the savior of the body. Mm. That's why I call it the body of Christ. Because he saved his body. Are you getting it? He, he saved his body. If he didn't save his body, we'll call it the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As the savior of his body. And if you see a man and a woman too, they are one, they are in one accord because they are saving themselves. Are you getting it? Mm -hmm. If anything happens to the woman, the man has to run there and save his wife. If a wife or yeah, if a man too is in emergency uh, situation, the woman, there is something that will make 
the days of us in love. Are you getting it? That will, you know, bring the two together. Are you getting it? It's not just about sleeping themselves or whatever. It's about the oneness. Are you getting it? The one has to the one mind, the one soul, the one spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. That is why when you see a man that is not with his wife, he may be with so many other wa wa women. But let me tell you, there is a path in that man that is still pointing to the wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Go and see all those people that are like, um, say, ah, I'm, 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 she's my first love. Or she's my first whatever. Are you getting it? They will say the first, that first love, if she has married whatever, he has married like maybe three, four times, one way or the other saw the first love. That connection is still there. Praise the Lord. That connection is still there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's not where I'm going, but just to ship in. Now, therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so also the wife be to their own husband in everything. Praise the Lord. In everything. A woman that is not subject to the man, either in tongues or in action or whatever, something will happen. Praise the Lord. That is no more one. It's like this is self that has entered. It might be from a different kind of thoughts. Praise the Lord. Yeah, sometimes your whole thought self might not be from God. You will think something and you will act on it. Praise the Lord. And those things that you, you are thinking of is your own, your, it's, about, it's not about balancing the two together. It's about what you want. And that can affect the marriage. Praise the Lord. Amen. So that is still pointing to uh, iniquity. It's one way or the other. It's iniquity in us. It's self. It's what you want to achieve. Amen. Praise the Lord. Though you are married, but you know that God has visited it. And you are one in soul, spirit, and body. But when you begin to do things like that, you are like allowing another channel to send the penetrating, praise the Lord, Amen. to come and are you getting this? And the better always say, Satan, pay to steal, to steal, to kill, to steal, and to destroy, praise the Lord. How can somebody, how can you kill, eh? the person you kill is not dead, and you have to steal and destroy again. Or you steal, kill, and destroy, right? And you steal and kill, uh, you kill somebody is not dead, you now destroy it. <laughs> Can't you see that? If you kill it, it's not, it's not like the way we understand killing. Are you getting this? Death is destroying. That is the, the, the worst part of it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now he said, Husband, love your wife, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by his word. By his word. Can you see? That is what, that's the purpose of oneness. That is the purpose of sex. That is, sex is what? Don't forget, sex is one. Sex is love. It's not lost. Sex is love. According to God. Outside God is lost. Praise the Lord. Outside God is lost. What you are feeling is not, is not love. It's not the love of God. The only way you can define love is from God. Any other love outside God, it may look to you like love. Feelings, but it's lost. That's why those things doesn't last longer. Because the real love first mentioned in the Bible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spots or wrinkles or any such thing that, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? That's the same way sex is all about oneness. Don't forget, when I mention sex, it's oneness. It's one in spirit, soul, and body. Praise the Lord. Sex is man. Because for man, a male and a female came out. So sex is what? Man. That's why God is one. God is one. God is one. Hmm? Amen. Bible says there is one neither male nor female in heaven. Praise the Lord. So God is one. So if we as a female go to heaven, you 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 get something like that is oneness. Your part will never be like a, to differentiate you like a female or male. You will be like God. So God is one himself. He doesn't need a wife or whatever. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? God is one. When Christ came in the form of Jesus, he came in the form of man because he wants to marry his church. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting it? And if he didn't come like that, and he come 
in the form of male and female. How are you going? They will, they will even be running away from him. Are you but God is one. God is one. Amen. Are you getting it? Mm. So, and the reason is that God, God is one mm -hmm. because God is without spot or wrinkles. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. God is without, is, is blemish, is pure, is eternal, eternal life, is light, is life, is everything in himself. Praise the Lord. But when Christ came in form of Jesus, he came with the brothers of his father, praise the Lord, to come and give us the light. He came to come and give us. Amen. Praise the Lord. And as many as, many as received him, gave the power to become a child of God. As many, given the child to become children of God, sorry, praise the Lord. As many that are received him. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, he wants to come and give you what to make us to be spotless and wrinkles and blemish. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when he gave us, first he gave us his he gave us life, he made us righteousness. He made us holy, but we are not yet perfect. Amen. So, now, the, with the water of the world, then you will become perfect. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just, read it, just read it down. So, just write it 20, 22 to 33. So, when we go, you can, you can continue. Praise the Lord. Because if you read from 28... Says so us also ought, ought men love so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Mm. He that loveth his wife loveth himself mm. because they are one. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherished it, even as the Lord loved the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. Just read it down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just read it down to 33. You will see the full details. Hallelujah. Amen. So now let me address the harder part that has to do with this teaching, the strength of God in weaknesses. Now, if you are a man, they are not married. Praise the Lord. If you are a man that have not married, or a woman that have not married, or, or you are uh, in a situation like maybe your husband left you or your wife left you, though you are still faithful to God in that marriage. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This teaching, this part is meant for you. You will find the strength of God Amen. in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Romans 12, 1 to 2. This is a popular, we've been using it many, many times. Romans 12, 1 to 2 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies. A living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is what your reasonable service. Hmm. Present yourself what as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is what acceptable unto what unto God, Amen. which is your reasonable service. Present your body a living sacrifice. Amen. Present your body a living sacrifice. Why? Because you already have the life of God in you. Mm. You already, you are already the righteousness of God. Mm. You already this holiness of God. Mm. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I don't want to say this word. I told this people in my heart, but I don't want to say it because of our time. Or oh, let me say it in a cheap way. We are already immortal. <laughs> Are you getting all things have passed away? Amen. Everything has become new. Amen. So, why the, the, the reason is very easier for you to present your body as a living sacrifice is because you already have the life of God in you. Amen. You have what God uh, came to give to us through Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you getting it? Amen. Christ gave, came to give us life in abundance. Amen. So, 
Now, the only way you can present yourself and you can be in one with God, praise the Lord, is to what? To uh, have fellowship with God. Have fellowship with the life of God you have on your inside. Amen. It's very, very possible. Amen. Have fellowship with the life of God. The Bible says in John 3, it says that whosoever believe in him will not perish, will not perish, Amen. but have eternal life. We not perish. Do you know what is called perish? You not the another word for perish is die. Mm -hmm. Whosoever believe in him will not die again. As in whosoever believe though he is dead before, he will wake up to life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. He was in the world. <laughs> Are you guessing this? He was in the world, but as long as you receive you believe in him, praise the Lord. As long as you believe, do you know what the meaning of believe? Mm -hmm. When you believe in something, one way or the other, you are you've already entered into that person. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. That is belief. Mm -hmm. When you believe in somebody, you've already entered into that person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you tell me like Kamoba is good, eh? I say, oh, and I believe you. Hmm? It's because I believe you eh, that now make me to go to Laika shop, to go and buy Laika mobile. Mm -hmm. I've already entered into that your world. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Your word came, and I entered because I believed. I entered. Bible says, faith is the assurance of what we hope for. Every day of what we do not see. Praise the Lord. When you believe in God, you are already entered into faith. Amen. So faith is a, is, a, is a realm of God. It's, it's a different realm. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So, what you believe, <laughs> you are. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Are you guys it? He said, when, 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 you, when you believe in the word of God, hmm, then you have eternal life. Mm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, all of us, many of us, as the said, we have eternal life, but we are not, we believe you are already in eternal life. Praise the Lord. We are already, we, so you are already in Christ, you are already in the Son. And he has already given us eternal life, but most of us don't understand what the eternal life is. Eternal life is a life that you have to study. You have to know. When you know that life, you will know God. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, when you are with that kind of, when you are with that kind of life from God, I'm telling you, <laughs> you will, it will present your body in living sacrifice. You will, all those kind of thoughts will leave you. Sometimes you want to be alone with God. Sometimes you don't even want to get married. You say, ah, I've, I'm enjoying myself here. There was that all those thousand and two thousand and one, I will be alone in the house. The very big house, I will be alone, and I will be make, I will be thinking with the world for money till seven p.m. That was the first time I understood what is called the bread of life. <laughs> say, ah, and I won't feel that I want to eat anything. From morning to 7 p.m., I won't feel hungry at all. That's more than like, let's say, okay, let's assume 7 to 7, that's 12 hours. And I won't feel like I want to, I will just be lost in that realm. Why? Because I have eternal life in me, praise the Lord, and I also lay hold on it. So, so many times we have eternal life, but we are not laying hold on it. He said, lay hold on eternal life that is in you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. When you lay hold on that eternal life, so don't just have eternal life. Mm -hmm. Lay hold on it. Mm -hmm. So when you are laying hold on it, you are hitting it. You are hitting the world. You are hitting the life of God. Mm -hmm. And it will fill you. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that you will not, your body, I'm telling you, will be present as a dignity sacrifice. That's a reasonable service to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the strength mm -hmm. in our weakness. Because at that time, you won't feel anything. You won't feel any, you have any thought anyway. That is the best strength. Let me say, I can do all these two classes. What who gave us strength? Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But you not what? You can you not do anything if you don't lay hold on that strength. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. So now. We have to what? We have to, we receive, uh, as, as, long as, as long as you believe him, he gave them power. Another verse is saying, he gave them rights. Mm. So he has given you rights, you are not the righteousness of God, but what? You have to begin to search 
your righteousness. You are immortal. Through the word of God. Amen. You will be lost in it. This thing, I'm telling you, happens for months. Because I was only only alone in the house. Nobody was there with me. I will go around, I will play something, I will do this, I will put that on till I got tired. And I remember that I used to do this thing sometimes ago. Then I just started taking my Bible. I have one high part that time. Because sometimes when you are receiving inspiration, best thing is to write it down. So I begin to write it. And the more I write it, the work God will open it. Because he said, draw to me and I will draw to you. Amen. He said, love me with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your spirit. Mm. <laughs> Are you getting it? Mm. So you have to love God. That is the strength. That's the best strength ever. I'm telling you. <laughs> Out of a device. So that's the best strength. You won't think of anything. Eh? God says, he said, cast, cast, cast your Cast, cast your um, body upon me. You want your husband to come back? Don't worry. You just seek first the kingdom and the righteousness. God knows how to do those things. Beyond your, you say more than what you can think of. It's beyond, you can never think of how he's going to do it. But don't do it because he wants him to bring your husband. Just do your own. Just get lost. Even by the time you get, by the time you get lost, you won't even remember all those kind of things. Praise the Lord. Just because, see, when you receive that, you have immortal body. You have a body that can travel in the soul of God. It can travel in Christ. Praise the Lord. You can be, we are, we are three in, in one. We are flesh or body, we are soul, and we are spirit. It's not that we are man, we are, we are spirit who possess them. So I'm living with the body. No. <laughs> because see, if you think you live in the body, immortal is the body. Mm. Are you getting it? So it's like you are living in three different kinds of body or two different kinds of body. The spirit realm, the spirit, the one spirit is the body. The one soul, eh, immortal is the, is the body that covers the soul of man. Praise the Lord. And this physical one is a body that come out, cover what the physical one. Praise the Lord. Do you know what Jesus says? The Bible says, Is it the spirit that, that, that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you? Say the spirit that raised Christ who give life to your mortal body. So that life what, is immortal. So the immortal will deactivate this one. I was uh, reading something this morning and I, I'm still joining, I'm still working on it. Praise God. So the one that is under this one, because this is the immort the, immort the the flesh. Praise Lord. This is the flesh. This is not the immortal normally. This is the flesh. So the one that is under this one eh, is the he is the mortal one. Is the one from, from the flesh. From from the realm of this they're from, from evil kingdom. Praise the Lord. Because this one is a flesh. This one is not mortal body. This is flesh. Right? Are you getting it? Are you getting it? This is the flesh. Hmm? Mm -hmm. This is the flesh. But the one inside that was crucified with Christ is the mortal one. Are you getting it? So, the one that now God gave us Never the days I live, not I, but Christ I live in me. Christ I live in you is immortal. The one also inside the flesh. Mm. Are you getting it? But what we, is, the best way to understand is the flesh. But it also is mortal. Because the Bible says, it is written that the Jesus Christ you give, you give life to your mortal body. Praise the Lord. Mm. But mortal in the area of in the inside, are you getting it? And another one is this another one is mortal. But there's another mortal in the inside. But the best way to understand this one in another word is flesh. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. That's not what I'm going anyway. But uh let's read uh, okay. We can, we can even recite that one head. We said we can um we can, can do all things through Christ who gave us strength. 
Okay, let's go to um, Psalm 46. One to three, then we'll close. Psalm 46. He said, God is our refuge and strength. He presents a very present help in troubles. Therefore, we will not fear, though the hearts be removed, and though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Can you see? God is our refuge and strength. God is our what? Refuge and strength. So the strength, God's strength, because God is our refuge and what? Strength. So the strength to your weakness is God. The strength to your weakness is God. So now you have God, you have to seek this God. And you have, it's like you have a phone, or can I say phone? I don't want to use a phone. Um, and, and what can you, what is it that you can use and you, when you open it, you see everything in it. Okay, thank you. Sweet. Like you have a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. hmm? You go to the market, you pay your money, you uh, bought a bottle of water, or put it in your house. Are you getting it? You have a bottle of water. Bottle of water with water is what? It's gold. But if you don't open the bottle of water and drink it, <laughs> how are you going to know? Are you getting it? Can you see? So, we have God, but you have to seek that God. Mm -hmm. Then he will give you <laughs> the eternal life in himself. Are you getting it? Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because of time, let's just um, summarize this. Then we close. One minute. Now, sex is what? One. So sex, according to God, is man. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Sex is man. Mm -hmm. The man that is one spirit. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. When God brought male and female, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this male and female still came from so this one source called man. Mm -hmm. So according to God, those male and female, mm -hmm. they are still one. They might be in different places. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for your husband or you want to get married and you are doing it with your own thinking, ah, see straight legs, ah, it's beautiful, ah, do some that. That is iniquity <laughs> as face. Praise the Lord. Are you getting it? But if you seek the face of God and begin to pray, God will lead you. I'm telling you, your, your spouse may be in Canada and it may be in the same country you are. It may be somewhere that, even it may be in your streets, you may not know. <laughs> are you getting So, because when you see, you see that when God brought the, uh, from the woman, from man, the Bible says, and he brought her to the man. Amen. So, allow God to show you your wife or your spouse or your husband and brought him or her to you. Praise the Lord. And brought him or her to you. That is number one. Number two is that uh, God, through Jesus, came to give his wife, church, his life. And become what? One. One. Are you getting it? So, now, as someone alone with God. Mm -hmm. God. The best way to be, if you have not gotten somebody, even if you have gotten somebody, even in marriage, between husband and wife, sometimes you still have to what? You still have to realize your real life. Praise the Lord. So don't say because you get married, you don't need any other person. No. You get married, you still need God. You still need the source that came from God, the man. Praise the Lord. Amen. The man is the image of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So man is, is sex, is one. But the female and male from the man, mm -hmm. they are still one according to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why uh, uh, the Lord brought, he formed the woman from the man and brought him back. Are you getting it? They are still one. Mm. Praise the Lord. So 
Now, sleeping with prostitutes or whatever outside, if you don't know what you are doing, even as a child of God, you are opening yourself to something else. Hmm? You, are, you are in Christ. Are you getting it? But, yeah, sometimes well, God will just, His grace is sufficient. I mean, there are some things that until you begin to do something in the right way. Hmm? Be in Christ. If you don't know yourself as, your, as the righteousness of God, hmm? those sins will not leave you. So, one, well, you have to know that you are the righteousness of God. Because let me tell you, every man that does that, or every man that does that, they are not happy. Go and be looking up all those prostitutes. Go and ask them why they are doing it. They will tell you that it's not that I'm happy doing this. But I have sisters and brothers that are looking up to me. You can see that that's the reason they are doing it. It's not that they are happy. They are not happy doing it. Situation pushed them to it. So now they want to leave it. They want, they want to leave those kind of things. This alone. So the best way to leave it as a child of God Talking as a child of God, I'm not like someone that is the world. The best of living you are in the world, come to God. Praise the Lord. And when you keep coming, when you are here in Christ, praise the Lord. Hmm? Mm. The best way is see yourself as the righteousness of God and begin to confess your righteousness. Don't see that you want to live it because you cannot live it by yourself. You cannot. You will try and try. I remember somebody that looked at me I'm tired of asking, confessing my sin. Because Bible says, Bible says, uh, if, uh, um, for God's Lord, Lord has given us the voice of that whosoever believe in Him, or the Bible says, whosoever confess his sin, the Bible says, whosoever believe in Him Amen. shall not perish. Amen. Because when you believe, you hate Him. You know that when uh, Adam ate the tree of life of good and evil, he entered into that tree. That is what happened. So what you hit is not hitting like that. You enter into that tree. That tree linked to a realm, worldly realm. God wanted him to enter into the tree of life. Mm. Well, he, when he hit it, he entered. He entered. Mm. I get it. So now, when you confess, you're not hitting his through the food, food uh, mouth, right? Mm. No. So also when you confess, when you confess, when you believe, you already enter. Now, when you confess, the life will come in you. Because if you are entering the realm, eh, and the realm, and, and, the, and the, the life in the realm has not entered into you, it's like you have a bottle of water, but you don't drink it. Because when you drink it, it comes in, right? So when you confess, the life is already in you, but as in it will become alive, it will, it will, I mean, you begin to feel the presence of God in your life. Praise the Lord. Amen. And the third part of it is now that you now begin to search and seek that God. Mm. Sometimes you will speak in tongues to a particular level, you'll be feeling some bubbles in your heart. You'll be feeling like, are you getting it? Have you experienced it? You, sp you, you speak in tongues for like five hours, you begin to feel like, like, you, like you are traveling in space. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you, are, if you want to understand a verse in the Bible, eh? Begin to pray in tongues for that verse. This verse will be opening. It will be opening and opening more. And if you go there to that verse tomorrow, it will open another verse. If you go again, you go, you open, you, that is God. We call it eternal God. It doesn't have a beginning and the end. <laughs> so what will be opening to doesn't have a beginning and the end. The more you can seek, the more you will see. The more you can seek, the more you can see. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now, as a child of God, the strength, he said what? He said, God is our refuge and our strength. Praise the Lord. So God is our refuge. God, the word refuge is God. The word strength is God. So the strength in our weakness, praise the Lord, is God. Praise the Lord. So if you are looking or you are praying because actually when you pray to God to help you to do something, then you, you've already committed into his house. But when you pray and you still do it, then he may be looking at you. That is like you want to do it yourself. Okay. Well, I thought you want me to do it. 
you've already committed it to my hands, so why are you trying to do it? Are you getting it? So when you pray and commit this to his hands, then begin to seek his ways. Begin to seek the light in you. He will go and bring that person. That is, that is God. That is what I know about God. Praise the Lord. So find the strength. Find God. You have God. You have the righteousness of God in you. You are holy. You are righteous. Praise the Lord. You have the life of God in you. You have your eternal, immortal body to travel around the spirits. Travel around the spirits, what? By knowing God. Be lost in his presence. Be intimate with him. Have fellowship with him. Romance. That's what is called romance with God. Amen. Romance with him. Amen. Ah, he wants somebody to, he said, he said, if you come, if you believe in me, come to me. He said, me and my father will come to make you as a, will make you as a home, a boat. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are you getting it? Hmm. So do not conform to this world. Eh? Because he said he wants Christ to be to be formed in us. That is the will of God. Amen. That is the strength in sex. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In oneness. Amen. So that's the word sex there yeah, is you have to be one with God. Amen. You have to be one with God in spirit. See, those are worshiping worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. So be one in God in spirit and in truth. In truth in what? In truth in, what? in the word of God. That's the only truth. So be one in God. When you are one with God, I'm telling you, that is sex. <laughs> that is sex with God. It is one with God. I don't want to say it because it's the way people will think it. But the spirit of God, as you say, it, that is what it means that to, to romance with God. To have so it's not that you have sex. You're already in sex with God. You're already together, you are in yourself. Hmm? When Jesus said, me and my father, we are one, it's because they are already in themselves. The image of Christ is in God. The image of God is in Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you, worship you. We give you glory, we give you honor. We thank you because you've already blessed us today. Mm -hmm. And this world will, will, will be fruitful in us. Mm -hmm. And we will hope our eyes on our son and more. And we'll be able to know you more. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you, everyone. Bye. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Romance with God. Amen. Amen. When you love somebody, you are you are ready to do to go the extra mile. Amen. So when you love God, you are ready to do everything He wants you to do. So that's the power of love. Glory. We're just going to sing that and close. Glory, glory to the Lamb, for you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb.